Okay, this one's going to be a challenge. We'll see what we can do with it. See if we can do anything really interesting, or if not interesting, whatever. So it's not going to be a two color job. That won't work. We're going to go full color, even though it looks like it's going to look like shit. So I'm wondering if we're doing a black job. I wonder if we're going to leave that on going text. Okay, we'll see how we go with this interesting thing we've got. I don't know what it is. Let's see how it goes. It looks like something off a computer, a piece of metal. I don't know what, what the hell it is. It's really small. So we're just going to leave that. And okay, colour adjust. I can't do much here. Contrast. A little bit of extra contrast. Going to copy density it in the sharpness. I'm going to make it really sharp. I don't know how this is going to look. So I'm wondering if we're going to do, it's going to be enlarged. What is it? I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a mystery. But it looks like a piece off a, uh, a computer or something or some kind of technology. It looks like something off a computer. That's all I can surmise. So we're just going to shove it in the corner. We're going to do something interesting with it. So we're just going to stick it in the corner and see what we can get out of it. See if it'll look any good. It's not an, off, metallic things are often notoriously difficult to photocopy, even though they're the most fascinating things if you can get them to look good. <laughs> if you can get them to look good, they, they're really good. <laughs> they really come up a treat. So let's see how we're going now with this. Okay, that looks, it's not that big as you can see. I was gonna do something interesting with it, but it doesn't look like it's the kind of original that'll lend itself nicely. So I'm wondering if this is a waste of time or maybe it's not an easy one. We're gonna do something else. We're gonna go, we're gonna make it full color maybe we can do something else with it so we're going to go full color and we're going to just go turn up the contrast i'm going to do something interesting if we can find something to do with it that'll work a treat oh, i've already got that damn it color balance we've got to set the color balance up so we've got to make this an interesting job somehow so I think the black, it looks like we're stripping the black so we don't have any black to cover up all the nice colours. Let's hope it looks good. And I'm wondering if we're going to do a negative positive or if we're just going to keep it positive. So we're going to do something with it. We're going to grab it, hold it in my hand. I'm going to pick it up in my hand, sort of grab it and then try and move it while I'm copying so to make it look like it flash. So let's see how it goes up here. So we're just gonna, I don't think that turned up really well. Well, let's just see. Let's see, we've got this happening. Whoops. <laughs> just it's hard to look through the camera and get my finger in the right place. Well, this is a phone actually. <laughs> but I mean, of course it's got a camera on board. Just about every phone these days has a camera. Even the cheap flip phones have them too. So let's see how we've done it. Well, that's quite interesting. Uh, it's a, I like the distorted shape, the way it's been looks melted. But I'm wondering if we're going to maybe add something more to it to make it more interesting. I'm just thinking, uh, what else are we going to do with this piece of shit? Um, just thinking, what are we going to do? We don't have any of these colours set. The colour I'm thinking would look a treat would be blue. We're going to do blue. We're going to make it a blue. And I don't think we're going to do all the other colours. I think we're just going to do blue. Uh, I wonder if maybe the colour balance should be altered if we're going to do the blue. So we want the hands to come up a treat. So I think we're just going to leave it. Okay, we're just going to leave it and we're going to do a, another one this time using... This time turning up the 
the blue on the machine. So I just got to grab this again and I've got to hit, hit the start key with my camera hand. Let's see if I can move this better than last time. Okay, that looks good. Let's see how we go. I find stripping the, the black works well with three dimensional subjects like this rather than two dimensional subjects. So this actually that looks really quite nice actually. I think we can call that quits. But that's an interesting result. I think we'll call that quits. Yeah.